There are three primary ways that you can set up a VPN on your iPhone, manually, through an app, and through a browser. Now, in this video, I'm not only gonna walk you through how to do it, but I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each approach. Welcome to All Things Secured, my name is Josh. Now the way that you set up a VPN on your iPhone is often dictated on how you're gonna be using it. If this is your company that's giving you VPN information, you're gonna to have to do it manually. Whereas if you're just somebody that wants to bypass censorship or get more privacy, you might wanna do it through an app or a browser. So if you wanna jump ahead to the specific configuration that you wanna use, you can do so using the time markers you see here. All right, let's start with manual configuration. If you've been given all the information for a VPN setup, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna navigate on your phone in to the settings app and on the left side you're going to find the VPN. Now on the bottom there's going to be a, a button that says add VPN configuration and this is where you're going to take all the information that you are given from your employer or for whoever it is that's owning and running this VPN server to give you and input that information. That includes the server, the remote ID, and your username and password. All of this stuff has to be put in and filled in and once you have it you're going to click done and it's going to show up as a VPN configuration in this VPN. VPN tab. If it's the only VPN configuration you have, you're going to have the option to just turn that on and off easily from your settings page. If you have multiple of them, you're going to have to go into the VPN tab and choose the one that you want. But either way, it makes it very simple once you've actually set up that VPN configuration. And if you're having problems connecting, more than likely that has to do with the login information that you are given by your employer. You're going to want to troubleshoot that with them. The advantage with a manual setup is that you can have remote access to your corporate headquarters uh, without necessarily having to be in the office. That said, it's not the easiest thing to set up and it requires that you get that information from your IT director or IT manager. The second method of setting up a VPN on your iPhone is to do so using a VPN app. Now there are literally hundreds of VPN apps to choose from on the App Store, but I recommend you choose carefully because remember, you are directing all of your internet traffic through that VPN company when you're using their servers. Now I have a number of different subscriptions to IPVanish, Surfshark, ExpressVPN, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you NordVPN. Now, if you go into your app store, you can look and find NordVPN and download the app. You can subscribe through the app store, but I recommend you do so on your computer because it just gives you a few more options. It's a lot easier to get a refund if you do it through your computer as opposed to your phone. And if you wanna get that link, I have an affiliate link in the description that helps support this channel, but it also gives you a direct access to the NordVPN's best deals when dealing with uh, their service. And once you download the NordVPN app and you have your login from having signed up on your computer. You can log into your VPN app and then you'll find a map as well as a list of all the different servers that you can connect to. When you first connect to NordVPN, it's going to ask, do you want this uh, app, this NordVPN to allow, to set up a VPN configuration and you want to click allow. And what that's going to do is instead of manually going in and setting up that VPN uh, configuration like we just did in step one, it's going to do it automatically so that you don't even have to go into your settings app. And that's the advantage of using something like this is it's much easier for somebody who's not as tech savvy or somebody who doesn't want to go through and manually do the setup. The app does all the setup for you and all you have to do to connect to that VPN is choose the server that you want to connect to, click on it, and it will automatically connect. Once you see that VPN icon on the upper right of your iPhone, you know that you're connected, you know that your internet connection is encrypted, and now you can bypass any censorship, bypass any geo restrictions, and generally browse the web a little safer. The third method for setting up a VPN on your iPhone is through a browser. Now, there are a number of browsers that do this. The one that I recommend is something called Tor Browser. It comes with a VPN. Now, it's not free. You still have to pay for it, just like the method number two, but it's not that expensive. And what it allows you to do is it, anytime that you're on the Tor Browser, you can connect to a VPN server in one of many different countries that they have available. And it will not only anonymize your connection, give you an anonymous IP address, but will also encrypt that connection just just like the NordVPN app did earlier. Now the advantage here is that it's all just one app. You don't have to worry about a separate app and it can all be done through the Tor browser. The disadvantage here is that because it is set up through the Tor browser, it's not something that's easier to use throughout the entire, for any app that you want on your phone. Now it still encrypts all the data that comes from any other app that you might use, but it is specifically meant for your Tor browser. And when you open that Tor browser, it'll give you the option to connect to that VPN. This is also a very easy setup for you. It's not something that requires manually going in and inputting into the, anything into 
into your settings app, but it also requires a little bit of payment as well for that convenience. Those are the three methods of setting up a VPN on your iPhone. It's not that hard. I also have already gone into details of how you can do this on, on your computer if you wanna watch that video. Uh, if this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to All Things Secured.